Alright guys, so I've been doing a lot of thinking about the no prep, back into the track, street style racing. Uh, I've watched a lot of the different channels, street racing channel, Jimmy Dale, and I've hopefully got something for his all motor drag you challenge here soon. But uh, Old Man's Garage, Turbo John, uh, Team Meatball, there's a couple other ones. Anyway, uh, you know, I really enjoy that style of racing. Uh, I, you know, when I started racing, that's what I wanted to do, and uh, you know we used to do some of it. Uh, I started bracket racing because it you know just got too hard to try and compete, and uh, back then I didn't really have no business trying to compete. Anyway, uh, I've been wanting to test the car on a street style surface, so we took it uh, last week and. Uh, did some testing with it, and uh, like I said, uh, you know, I think the car, with high up as the motor is, it's like I said, four link tube chassis car, I think the, the anti-squat and instant center value user off a little bit. Uh, as soon as the front end tops out, it's upsetting the back end, and uh, like I said, I think it, it needs to separate a little bit more, and, you know, right now it's digging. and. Uh, you know, like I said, it works pretty good on a prep track, but for some no prep street side surfaces, we're gonna need to do a little work on that. Didn't really have time, much time to fool with it the other day. Uh, but uh, we're gonna go back and, and really try to fine tune the suspension and get the 60 foot down. If I could get the 60 foot down, I feel like the car would be you know, decently competitive. It, it mile an hour is out the back door pretty good. And uh, like I said, it's all motor big block. No, no power adders, nothing. Uh, we may end up needing to do a rear gear change. It's got a lot of gear in it for, you know, uh, that kind of surface. But, you know, I'd like to see if we could get it to 60 foot. If I could get 60 foot to come down where I want it, I'd be decently happy with it. Uh, like I said, I don't look to have a front running car, but, you know, I'd like to have something I can go and have fun with. Uh, and I think this has got the potential to be that. Uh, anyway, uh, Got some footage from the other day for you, and uh, we'll go over it. And like I said, I've got the uh, dragon times and everything. We'll go over those and uh, show you all what I think, what I want to do. And uh, like I said, I really, uh, I really had fun with it. The other day was, uh, as far as racing or testing, tuning or anything I've ever done, that was probably about the most fun I've ever had. Uh, it's. Uh, it's a lot more challenging than going in bracket racing. You know, most time you go in bracket race, even on a marginal track, 99% uh, of the time the car's going down the track. And, uh, you know, there's a lot more involved in, you know, the tuning aspect of every end of it with the no prep street style stuff. And uh, like I said, I'm not gonna say, you know, I'm not gonna bracket race anymore, because I am, you know. Uh, but I am interested in seeing where this takes me. and. Uh, Y'all follow along with me. Uh, like I said, I hope y'all enjoy it. I hope y'all enjoy my videos. And uh, we got some more stuff coming up on the Impala, the barn find, well, uh, pole barn find project. And uh, I've got some stuff going on in the shop here that uh, I'll show y'all. Uh, Thank you to everybody that watches, likes, shares, and subscribes. I really appreciate y'all. Uh, Thank you for everything you do. And uh, let's dive into this testing footage. The only changes I've made to the car since the trip to Montgomery is the addition of a Lexan scoop on the carburetor. Here we go. I know I'm excited.
I had a 275 Pro Radial on the car when we went and tested at Montgomery, and uh, I left those on there for the first pass, and uh, you know, without changing some bar angles around, and you know, it would really benefit from a set of shocks. I, I you know, I don't believe a radial is uh, the optimal tire for a street surface anyway. Uh, not to say we couldn't make it work, but uh, like I said, we didn't really have time to tune on the suspension, and. Uh, so I pulled the radials off, put the slicks back on the car. Next time we take it, I'm gonna put either a 28 or a 29 and a half by 10.5 uh, slick on the car and uh, tune it for that tire, uh, preferably a Hoosier. Uh, but we'll see uh, what we can get our hands on and uh, go from there. Looking at the graphs, it looks like I let off the gas a bit early on, on all the passes, so hopefully there's a few mile an hour to be found there. I think the first change I'm going to make is, is uh, raising the bottom bar on the four link and uh, maybe putting a little bit more angle on it to try and raise the instant center a little bit, uh, you know, with how high the engine is. and and all of that, I just don't think the instant center is high enough to be taking advantage, you know, leaving, leaving the line. So we're gonna try that and uh, go from there. Look forward to the next trip to the track. Said I'm learning this stuff, but I'm gonna get better as time goes on. And uh, thank y'all for watching.